Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah, otherwise known as Sarah Says Hi here on YouTube. And today I have a huge grocery outlet haul that is keto and low carb friendly. You're not gonna wanna miss this, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm not sure how you guys prefer these videos. If you prefer like me just zooming in with the camera to show you every product, or if I just hold it in front of the camera. Today, I'm just going to be holding it up in front of the camera because I'm going to be referring to the prices on my phone. Um, it's a little bit hard to look at the receipt and figure out exactly what product is really quick. So I'm just going off of my little grocery list. I use an app called List Ease, and um, you know, I just write down like everything that I plan on buying. And then um, I write down the price and the quantity, and then it'll tell me like a running number up here, like of how much I'm spending, $167, but let me get my receipt really quick. I paid $175.34 for this grocery haul. And uh, that was way over my budget. My weekly budget is only $70. So I'm expecting this to last me like three weeks. So that's the hope is this just three weeks. And that if I need to buy something like eggs, I'll just pick up eggs um, or my drinks. But I think I'm gonna be okay on drinks as well. Let's get started with this grocery haul. Um, I got the Canada Dry Sparkling Waters. This one is Mandarin Orange. There is no carbs in this. I like drinking sparkling drinks on my fasting days um, because it won't break the fast. And I believe, let's see, what's the sweetener in this? Um, it doesn't say, it just says carbonated water and natural flavors and there's no carbohydrates and no sugars. Um, I don't know what natural flavors means if they've added, you know, like orange juice or something like that to it. But um, these are great, like I said, for fasting. Also just if I, just feel like I want a flavor drink. I tend to be drinking more of like the sparkling ice drinks than I am water lately, except for my LMNT. I drink daily LMNT, whether it's a fasting day or a non-fasting day. Next up is this Too Good yogurt. It's a four pack. Um, these were $3.99, which is only a dollar cheaper than what I would buy at Target. Um, then I picked up this Bare Bones. Um, this is chicken bone broth and they're little instant packets. Um, how many is in here? This is for 16 packets. This was $14.99 and when I looked up on their website, um, the website had them for $24.99 for this. And that's what the grocery outlet advertised this as. They also said that it was, you know, other places it's $24.99. I've never tried this brand, but according to Amazon, they had like four and a half stars on the beef flavor. Um, I didn't really bother to look up to see the exact chicken one. I was just looking to see if the brand was even on Amazon. So um, I'm willing to give this a try. I'm always looking out for a bone broth flavor that I like. Instant would be better so I could take it to work, just take it on the go. Um, and this is four carbohydrates per serving. There's also three grams of dietary fiber, so it's one gram of net carbs per serving. Ugh, I didn't see this. There's maltodextrin in here, unfortunately. Um, I don't know if maltodextrin is used as a preservative or what, but yeah, there's maltodextrin in here. I didn't even pay attention to that at all. Um, not only that, but it's mentioned twice in here. So there's an organic tapioca maltodextrin, and then below that it says lemon juice in parentheses, non-GMO maltodextrin, organic lemon juice concentrate. So that's what makes up the lemon juice. Uh, next, I got my provolone cheese slices. I love getting these. Um, this is 6.29, and I think it's a pound, one and a half pounds. Um, Sometimes I'll just like pull like a couple slices out and snack on it because I just like it. I got some Dairy Gold unsalted butter. I believe this was $2.99, $2.79. Um, I picked up some sour cream. This was $2.49. I think I normally pay $2.79 at Target for it, so you save a little bit there. Advertised savings, promotional savings is $162. So saved a lot of moolah. I got some 
cream cheese and this this was a dollar 99 and i kept thinking that it's much cheaper like at target and walmart than a dollar 99 according to grocery outlet they said it's 4.99 at other places i just i don't buy that at all but um, i prefer using philadelphia cream cheese the grocery outlet does have a cream cheese by the brand han like h-a-n-h -H. i haven't heard of that brand but for some reason i just prefer using the Philadelphia. And this is gonna be for some baking that I'm going to do. I have some more of those um, keto, the Maui keto treats packages like baked cookie mixes and all the recipes require cream cheese. So I just wanted to have one on hand in case I felt like baking. Castillo Delightfully Nutty Gouda Cheese. This was $2.49 and it is seven ounces. This caught my eye right away. This is salmon and it is stuffed with, it says salmon Atlantic fresh stuffed with crab and lobster and it was $9.99 and this is 12 ounces worth. I'm gonna eat both of these myself. Um, let's see if they put sugar in here. Oh, they use corn syrup solid. So yeah, there is going to be some sugar in this, but it's a special treat. I haven't had fish in a while and this just really sounded good to me. Um, then I picked up these Applewood smoked bacon wrapped Angus beef fillets and this was $4.99. Um, you can even tear them apart and like, so like if they're in the freezer, you can pull out just one at a time. So that's kind of cool. And this was 10 ounces. And um, I ended up getting two of them because they were on sale for $4.99. They're normally $9.99. In my last keto grocery haul, which was also a grocery outlet one, I got this um, boneless pork roast for carnitas that you put like in your slow cooker. I really liked this. There was no sugar in it and the flavor was just amazing. And this lasted me about three dinners. Um, so I figured this would be good to pick up again. And then not only that, but I got another one. And this one is Santa Maria style. So that other one was carnitas flavored. And then this one is Santa Maria. And um, the total price on this one was $5.37. And the carnitas one is $5.09. So I think this is a great deal for three dinners. That's pretty darn good. Um, I didn't see if this one had sugar in it. Yes. So this one does have sugar, but the carnitas one did not. But sugar is like on the seventh ingredient here. So it's not a lot of sugar. This has one carbohydrate. I think the carnitas one didn't have any. Oh no, it does have one. So they're both one carbohydrate. Okay, on to the drinks. Um, I love sparkling ice. You guys have seen me talk about it. You know, I've picked it up in my, oh, this is really bright. I've picked it up in my other grocery hauls all the time. I like to have the sparkling ice drinks for my breaking fast drink where I mix it with psyllium husk powder, whole psyllium husk powder now, that's my new thing. Um, so this is peach nectar. They had these on sale for 69 cents. I normally spend $1 for them at Target. So I stocked up and I got 10 of these. Um, actually I got eight of this flavor and then I got two two of the classic lemonade flavor. And I don't know why this specific flavor is advertised as zero sugar down here at the bottom because they all are zero sugar. So I'm not sure why it was advertising that. And this obviously looks like something from 4th of July that they had, uh, but these were also 69 cents. So I just picked up two of these. I'm running out of coconut oil. I like coconut oil for fat bombs that I make, especially for my, my fasting. Um, when I break the fast, I tend to just eat like a heck of good bar with coffee as my first meal. And then I'll put like the bone broth um, protein powder in my coffee. And I find that I'm still kind of hungry. So I'll eat like a fat bomb that I make. I make these ones with cacao nibs and like orange zest inside of it. And I really like the flavor of that one. So I needed some more coconut oil so I can make those fat bombs again. And I only eat those, like I said, on the days that I'm breaking a fast. I'll have like one or two with the heck of good bar. I was really trying to break away from buying any more bangs. Um, I've been buying the sparkling ice drinks from Target, which has a lower amount of caffeine. I think they're half the amount of caffeine as a bang. Um, they didn't have the sparkling ice caffeine drinks at the grocery outlet, so I picked up bang. And the reason why I picked up bang actually was not for this flavor. This one is peach mango, 
but um, I picked up this other one. I've never seen um, key lime pie. So I'm sorry, the lights are like way too bright. There we go. I love key lime, I love orange, anything. So um, that was the main reason why I picked these up was for the key lime ones. And I got two of these. They're the normal price that you pay at Target or Walmart. They were $1.79. Um, so I got two of those. I got one of the peach mangoes that I just showed. And then I got a Star Blast one and a Blue Res. I typically drink two energy drinks a week because for work I end up having two lunches at work because of my fasting schedule. Um, so I should have actually picked up another one to have six to last me for three weeks, but I guess there's just gonna be one day where I'm not gonna be drinking an energy drink. I picked up some Santa Cruz organic peanut butter. Um, this is dark roasted peanut butter. I try to stick with natural peanut butters and actually my favorite is Jif natural um, or Skippy natural. For some reason, I just really like those ones and cause you don't have to mix the oil, but they didn't have those. So this was like my only option. And this was $4.99 for one pound. I picked up some eggs. Obviously the eggs is not gonna last me for three weeks. I still have another dozen right now in the fridge, so I only picked up one carton. I figure if on the third week I need to buy some more eggs, I'll just buy some more eggs. This is pasture raised eggs. Um, it says free range. I do prefer to buy free range eggs. As I've talked about in my other grocery hauls, I usually buy the Happy Egg Company. They didn't have them this time at the grocery outlet. So this is Betsy's, I haven't heard of it. Um, no pesticide, it says no antibiotics, no pesticides, no hormones, no GMOs. So, yep. And um, the next thing I was really happy about, for some reason, the very last minute, I thought, okay, let's go check the end of the freezer aisle. Um, so they have like, you know, the main freezer aisle with like the doors. They have just like one section there of the doors where the ice cream is and they have like po frozen pies and all kinds of junk there. Usually there's nothing keto friendly at all in those freezer compartments. But at the end is where they have like usually the gluten-free products. Um, so I decided to check there just to see if they had anything because I knew I needed some kind of frozen entrees for my lunches. It's just easier that way. I was so happy guys, they had real good. And these were $2.49. Normally I pay like five something for these, maybe $5.79, $5.99, something like that at Walmart. So I stocked up on these. So I got four of the broccoli and cheddars. This is three net grams for, there's uh, two servings per box. So it's three per serving, so six grams of net carbs for the entire box, which is two servings. Um, and then I picked up only two of the roasted poblano chili creamy, cheese, creamy jack cheese one. I actually have never tried this one before, um, but I decided just to mix up the flavors. So I got two of these and four of the broccoli cheddar, so that should be enough for three weeks of work lunches. And now we're getting to the goodies, um, which really got me in trouble is the price. Not so much like the carbohydrates in them, but the prices. Once again, I picked up these Jenny's Organic Coconut Bites with cacao nibs and dark chocolate. I showed this in my last keto grocery haul at the grocery outlet. I really love these. They're just so nice to pop in you know, in the evening when you want something sweet, I'll just have like one or two and that totally satisfies my sweet tooth. And these are five grams of net carbs for one piece. And like I said, I usually have like one or two in the evenings. In fact, I still had some left, but I knew I was running out. I have like maybe five pieces left. So um, it's been, I think maybe two, three weeks since I went to the grocery outlet. So it's, you know, lasted a couple of weeks. This should last me longer because I bought some other treats here, so I'm not gonna be eating these every single night, but I just wanted to have these on hand because I do enjoy them. Yeah, so this is $9.99. I think they said it's normally $15.99 or $14.99, something like that. I picked up these organic cacao nibs, and this was $4.99, it's normally $9.99. I have like a big jar that I bought from um, Sprouts and that was like $20 for the jar, and I, I'm running out, not running out, I have like maybe a third of that jar left, so when I saw those on sale, I went ahead and bought those. I like to put cacao nibs over my two good yogurts. 
Um, I just like to have a little crunch on my yogurt. I, I'm a topping girl. Like I like nuts or something on top of my yogurt and I really like putting the cacao nibs over it. Okay, now for the products that got me in trouble and this is more low carb friendly, not keto. The Lenny and Larry's Complete Cookie. This is the gingerbread flavor and this was $11.99. There are um, 12 cookies in here. And I think the Lenny and Larry cookies are usually $2 each or $2.50 each, something like that at Sprouts. Every once in a while they'll have them on sale like two for $5 or you know something like that. Pretty expensive. Um, so I love gingerbread, can't get over the holidays just yet. So I got these and one, one serving is half a cookie. So these are kind of like for a higher carb day um, because for half a cookie, it's 23 grams of carbohydrates. For one cookie, it is like the whole cookie is 46 grams of carbohydrates. So this is definitely going to be eaten during my carb up week. Um, or if it is on an eating day and I just kind of feel like I want to have a little bit more carbs that day, then I will. I also picked up the Lenny and Larry's holiday recipe pumpkin spice. Cause you guys know me in the pumpkin spice life. I'm all about it. So it's the same thing. I believe that it. it's, uh, yeah, well, 46 grams of carbohydrates for one of these cookies. If you ate the entire cookie, who can eat half of a Lenny and Larry's cookie? Nobody. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. I got two more things here that I kind of splurged on because I really wanted to try them. So I have the Vital Proteins Collagen Bar Raspberry Lemon flavored. And these are 22 grams of total carbohydrates and seven grams of dietary fiber, 15 grams of carbs uh, or net carbs. Um, and these are 150 calories each. I just love lemon and I like that it, well, I like raspberry and lemon together. So I really wanted to try these and just see how they taste. Um, I probably will do an on-camera tasting for this. I may even test my blood glucose just to see what, what it does. But you know, it's a nice way to get more collagen in and the flavor just really sounded good to me. Uh, this was $11.99 and there's 12 bars. Last thing, so I'm not like a bulletproof person, like I won't purposely go out and buy bulletproof products, but I will buy them if they're at the grocery outlet because they're usually half the price. Um, so this one is Bulletproof Apple Pie Collagen Protein Bar. And this is 10 grams of net carbs. So it's 15 grams of total carbohydrates and five grams of dietary fiber. The second ingredient here is hydro, hydrolyzed collagen. Um, it does say inulin, which is chicory. It doesn't say chicory root. So I don't know if that is gonna be the same way on my stomach. Oh, and these expire in March. So anyhow, I wanted to try these. And again, maybe I will try them on camera and do a blood glucose test. Not today, but um, you know, coming up. So yeah, guys, that is the grocery haul. That is everything. Like I said, that was $175, hoping that it lasts me three weeks. Um, and I think I got some really good things. Like a lot of these goodies, these cookies and stuff should last me even longer than three weeks. Cause obviously I'm not gonna go through those that quickly, especially with my fasting schedule. Um, and the main reason why I picked up these is not only were they on sale, but I actually haven't gotten my heck of good foods order yet that I placed in the middle of January. They actually ran out of stock on half my order. So I kept emailing them saying like, where's my order? Because I ran out of my cookies and I really liked having a cookie every night as a treat as well as a bar for breakfast. So I was like, hey, where's my order? And then they said, oh, we're sorry. Half your order is out of stock. Do you want us to wait for those items to come in back in stock? Or do you want us to send you an, a supplement, a different one? And I said, no, 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 I'll just wait for it. So the other items aren't expected to be in stock until like two weeks and the cookies that I ordered are coming. So that should be coming in the next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And when you do, don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that'll notify you every time that I've uploaded a new video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.